Hi guys! Um, let me show you what's going on outside. It's raining outside. This is my brother. So back to me. Today I'm going to do um unboxing video about Zhai Guo and in fact I already tried it last night. Okay guys, I got this one. Uh, this one is called Zhai Guo. It costs around 40 RM. And I bought this one. Its flavor is um, Korean hot pop. So it has like rice cake and all those Korean things in it. I'm gonna open it and try it out here. Well, let's see what's inside. The chopstick and the tissues and a spoon. It's very convenient if you are out and you don't have those um, noodles. And then this one, yeah, of course, Korean hot pots always have this kind of noodle. And I think this is a vegetable box. And then this box is for you to put those ingredients in it. This one, rice cake. And this one is called um, Di Liao, which is the uh, fundamental thing for the hot pot. It's the basic flavor. And what's this one? Okay, this one is the big box. Um, you put this one inside the box, and then you put some water, just some cold water in it, and then it will boil the water very quickly. And this one is called Huo Ji Jiang. Um, that's the very very spicy flavor. It will. It's so spicy that you might get cried when trying it out. And finally, we have this one. This one is also vegetable package, and that's all of the package I got in this box for like. 40 RMB. So we're gonna try it out now. Um, so let's first put this one inside. Okay, I've put everything in it and now I'm gonna just put water into this pot. Get out too, get out too. And then put this one here. Mm. Uh, can you see that? Okay, now let's wait for 15 minutes. Okay, 15 minutes is done and we're gonna open it. That's my first time of trying this Zhai Guo. Very very hot. Smells so good. It's like those Korean hot pots I had when I was in Korea. So good. Okay, I'm gonna have it. Rice cake, my favorite. Hmm. Yeah, it's definitely good. Um, it's a little bit spicy, but if you want to add more spicy, you can add this one. It's called Huo Ji Jiang. It's very spicy. Um, I'm going to try the noodles. good it's a little bit spicy but not too spicy and um, yeah the taste is just like any Korean hot pot I had when I was traveling in Korea and the meat <laughs> the meat mmm great good it's good it's good that it tastes so so well and for example if I went to a boarding school and I cannot go out I probably would get a zai guo and then cook it in my 
dormitory. <laughs> so high floor was founded in 2018 and the brand developed so fast. Um, it just used a year to achieve over 100 million RMB sales. And then in 2019, double 12, double 12, it has Stingba. So Stingba is the top live streamer on Kwai Show. So they have a live stream. And on that live stream, Simba helped Zhai Guo achieve over 50 million RMB sales. That's so crazy. And on that day, its Taobao store announced that they were totally went out of store. So what makes Zhai Guo so popular is that first things is very convenient. You don't need hot water. You don't need to cook it. You just need water. Um, and it should be cold water because if you use hot water, it will it will be very dangerous. People nowadays are getting lazy and they are getting extremely busy. Most of my friends that they have to work for extra hours in a day, so they barely don't have any time, any energy to cook after working back home. And so Zhai Bo is definitely a lifesaver for them. And the other thing is that, like I mentioned before, it has more flavor. So even though it's very convenient, like instant noodle is also very convenient, right? But Zhai Bo gets more flavor. It has like mala tang, like a very spicy hot pot flavor. They also have those, um, they also have like Korean hot pot, like the one that I had and then they also have rice so it's various choice like multiple choice for customers to choose and then the other thing is about um, food safety so many people are very concerned used to be very concerned about if they put those hot water into it and then those will generate lots of steam and those steam that will make the food cooked they worry that it will um, kind of bring some safety concerns for the food because all those things like the pot is made of uh, is made of plastic um, plastic so that's what they worried about and then the high school got a very very um, clear illustrations to show the customers that all of their um, techniques like their food their packaging are learned from are techniques that is used for uh, fried food like the food that we have on the plan and then it also on the top it also got a very small hold for the allow the seams to go up so it could um, make sure that the food is okay to eat it's safe to eat and that indeed solved a lot of concerns the high food is often in one person's portion so they are for people who are living alone and the way that how these people entertain themselves is often watching the TV series, TV dramas, TV shows so the high school spot this um, work with many TV shows and celebrities to, to promote the brand and the way that how they introduce their ambassadors is very very naturally for example, they are ambassador Lin Gengjin. Um, he is a celebrity in China. So in March 2018, Lin Gengjin posted a Weibo saying that he had Zhai Guo in the backstage um, behind the scenes after he finished his work. And then in that year's November, the brand appointed Lin Gengjin as its ambassadors and then also did a live stream about it. Um, it's very natural. It's not like, oh, well, you appoint this person. Like, it, it, what, what it presents to consumer is that this person loves having the high wall and then we appoint him as the ambassador. It's very natural. And then when it comes to um, influencers or KOLs, the brand thinks that if they spend lots of time, lots of money for those mid-tier and small KOLs, they would rather to spend those money for a top runner, for example, like Simba, Villa, and then and then Shari. So that's some marketing strategy about Zhai Guo. Um, if you are in China, 
tried it it's so it's so fun the whole process and let me know what other brands you want to see and i'll see you guys next time bye okay and don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel which is changed to the china marketing insights so um don't forget to do that bye